Next up, it's time for another animal class. Today we take a deep dive and learn about the ultimate eating machine, sharks. And we discover that even those fearsome fish have a softer side. We thought we'd take Grant out to sea and let him do some of his own field research for this segment. You know, up close and personal with sharks. But in the end, Grant convinced us to use a much safer approach by visiting the Vancouver Aquarium to chat with a professional aquarium interpreter. Let's check it out. Fear, intrigue, maybe even love. People have a range of emotions when it comes to sharks, and I'm not gonna lie, I could use some help sorting out my feelings about sharks. So we're at the Vancouver Aquarium's shark habitat with interpreter Natalie Graham to talk about these magnificent animals. Yeah, magnificent is right. There are so many different species of sharks on our planet. I get very excited about them. They're my favorite animal. And we have a range of species here at the aquarium. So we actually have four different species of shark. We have a uh, zebra shark, uh, black tip reef sharks, bamboo sharks, and epaulet sharks. So the black tips are probably my favorite. They only get about a meter long and they are really distinctive when it comes to how they camouflage themselves uh, in the ocean. They have a really big difference in color from their belly to their back, from a gray on the top to a white belly on the bottom. And that really helps them to disappear in the water because if you're below a shark, you see that bright white belly and it blends in with the sky above. If you're above the shark, the darker coloration blends in with the deep below. So they are predators for sure. That coloration definitely lends itself to that. But honestly, you have nothing to worry about when it comes to sharks. They kind of, strike me as, you know, bottomless uh, eating machines. How and what do they eat? Yeah, so all different kinds of sharks eat different things. So some of them, like whale sharks, will eat things like plankton and krill. Um, but our sharks here actually feed mainly on squid and fish. So they actually have typical, I guess, teeth. So if you reach out in front of you, Grant, what you'll feel is what I would say is a typical shark tooth wow. when people think about it, that sharp, pointy edge. Look at that powerful jaw, that huge jaw. Yeah, so this is the jaw of a bull shark. It's much, much larger than any of the species that we have here. Um, but you can feel those distinctive sharp teeth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring another jaw over to you, and this is a bit more akin to that of the zebra shark that we have here. So they have uh, several teeth and they're very sort of fine, thin. Fine and thin, and then you'll notice on the edges on the outside, they're actually flat. And that's because of the difference in the food. So if you've got sharp teeth, you're eating a soft food, like a fish or a squid. If you've got those flat teeth, you're eating a hard food. Uh, so things like crustaceans at the bottom. Why uh, are sharks important? Sharks are really important because of where they sit in the ecosystem. Even if they're a bottom-dwelling shark or right up to something as large as a great white, they provide a really important role to keep our oceans healthy. So because they tend to eat animals that are weak or sick and dying, they kind of act like the ocean's doctors. They eat up the animals that are weakest and then they leave all the healthy ones. So it really creates a good balance in our ecosystems. Hey, thanks so much for uh, sharing your wisdom about sharks. I gotta say, I'm feeling so much better. Actually, I might be ready to dive into the tank and uh, pet one, what do you think? I would recommend a little bit of experience before you head in. It can be a little bit tricky to find your way around with so many animals. Okay, well, I'm good for now then. But hey, thanks so much, Natalie. I've got a riddle for you, Steve. What does Vancouver's Grant Hardy have in common with a shark? Hmm, I thought maybe they liked the movie Jaws. I don't think that's it. I don't know. Well, they both look fierce, but they're actually both very skittish. Oh, see, I was thinking along the lines of their rigid fins and many rows of replaceable teeth. Sorry, my bad. On a serious note, though, despite sharks' reputations as man-eaters, only a small handful of people actually die due to a shark attack every year. We, on the other hand, do much more damage to sharks, including the awful practice of finning, which is the removal of the shark's fins and then throwing the rest of the shark back into the sea. Oh man, that's too sad. Um, but it is great, though, that the Vancouver Aquarium teaches us about these fascinating sea creatures and advocates for them, too, including their national ocean-wise program that labels seafood at restaurants and grocery stores so you know it's been produced sustainably. For more information about OceanWise and the Vancouver Aquarium, check out vanaqua.ca.